I think 2019 was like the first year, at least since I've been here, that I felt that both the staff and the membership really locked in together and had this idea of what they wanted the core to be like in the future. I have a super, super amazing DCI fantasy. I would hit that DCI pose and just look at this wave of audience members stand up. And that was in 2019. I remember I was walking off the field with one of the other members and I was just crying in their arms. I was like, I can't believe this is over. The 2019 season was a very successful summer for the Cavaliers. Uh, we scored very well. Our brass took third place in brass at championships. And so we felt that that had been a very successful summer. Our show was one that was very popular with the crowds. We were very entertaining. We were very well received. It really created a lot of momentum. Uh, as we went into the off season and then unfortunately uh, COVID hit and so that mo momentum changed. In 2020 we were about three days away from hosting a winter camp and all around us people were beginning to really worry about how we were going to progress through the next coming months and so forth. Should we have camp? Should we not have camp? In a, the course of maybe 24 hours, all of that came crashing down when DCI announced that it would be canceling uh, the 2020 season. That was, of course, devastating to us as an organization. It was devastating particularly to our, our members and our students. Whenever I heard that the season was just not going to happen, I did not know what to do. I think I felt just kind of like stuck in my tracks and just didn't know where to go. And I think that was probably one of the loneliest uh, experiences for at least a couple weeks. Truly, it was a doomsday in the marching arts community. If drum corps shut down, then it was really bad. It made me value the connections I do have because I wanted to make sure I was checking up on all my friends and making sure they were okay with what they were going through, even though we were miles apart. You know that today would have been our move-in day. I wanted to just send a message to let you know that um, I'm thinking about you and I really wish that we could be uh, hanging out, working on what would have been a really exciting 2020 show for the Cavaliers. We felt that having a 2021 season was important on a number of levels. First of all, I think many of us in the organization and in the activity as a whole felt that we simply couldn't go more than about a year without having drum corps as we know it, without having those cores out there on the field. Uh, taking two years off of an activity, it would probably take a lot more to, to have the activity recover. You know, Having a season this year was, was, I think, important, not just for the organization, but, you know, for the drum corps community as a whole. Um, for us, you know, a lot of the reason we do this is, is to give the members an incredible experience. I think all of us in the activity felt that it was crucial from that standpoint that we return to the field in 2021. It was really important for us, especially for the guys who have been with us for a number of years, that we gave them an opportunity to kind of finish what they started building here. Um, you know, we had a number of folks who, it was their opportunity to age out in 2020. You know, they didn't have an opportunity to have a summer. And we just felt like anything uh, that we could do to kind of give them the Cavalier experience and kind of have them finish their time here, that was, that was important to us. We turned, as did many others, to the virtual realm. Our staff was tremendously creative in the ways that they set up auditions, in the ways that they set up camps, in the ways that they created and put together various kinds of activities to keep our members involved. Hey y'all, here's just a quick PSA. None of you are putting enough air through the horn. You need to fill that thing up! All right. I, I'm more excited about this show musically than I have been about anything we've ever done. You guys, you guys, the show music this year, I cannot wait until you find out. I cannot wait.
what motivates you when you get sticks in your hands or mallets in your hands? What What is the motivating factor? Every single time I pick up the sticks, it's a opportunity for me to get better at something that I truly enjoy doing. We were allowed to take a moment to step back and reevaluate the way we do things, to reevaluate some of our programs and so forth. So uh, in many ways, again, it gave us opportunities that we took and hopefully have used to create a better organization. But we knew immediately that we wanted this to continue, that we wanted to try to be out on the field doing what we love to do in 2021. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joey Salinas. I'm one of the drum majors here at the Cavaliers. Um, I am Bob Christopoulos, and I am now the vibraphone section leader for the 2021 Cavaliers Front Ensemble. My name is Brad Hafalia. I am a third, four-year vet. I don't know how we're counting this year. All right, so it's too early. It's the first day in home base. My name is Max Ondo. I'm 19 years old and I'm a trumpet player here at the Cavaliers for the 2021 season. Yeah, today has been kind of crazy. Just got a haircut and shaved and everything for the parade stuff tomorrow. My name is William Snow. I'm the color guard sergeant and this will be my fifth year with the Quark. For the summer of 2021, we're taking Cavalier Nation and the entire marching arts community on a journey of our return to the field. We have a long and astounding history dating back to the year 1948 when a green machine was first starting to be built. This unique season enables our legacy to continue and it's being documented as such. We're getting real, we're getting personal, and we're getting a glimpse at what's next for the Cavaliers. So in a sense, we're rebuilding the green machine.